Greetings! I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. What do you mean? This is a perfectly normal thing to do. I'm gonna completely surround my house with skulls. Your house doesn't have skulls all the way around it? Of the barbarians that have tried to attack you? Huh. Now that's weird. Anyway, welcome back. What do you say we get to work and get some stuff done? What what should we do? I think first I'm gonna eat some crab meat because I found crab and it was delicious. The number one most biggest awesomest thing that I need to do today is make a ship. So that's what we're gonna do first. At least we're gonna start it. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish it, but we're gonna be able to start it. So shipbuilding, yes. That is a thing I want to do. I need two timbers, 30 planks, one smithy, one crafting table, and 15 metal parts. And I need to get rid of this. Because this is stupid. Okay, so now I need to place and build a shipyard. I think we're going to do that down here somewhere. I, what I want to do is actually, I realized I want to make an entire building out in the water, like, like an actual shipyard. O gets rid of the snapping. It turns snapping to grids off. And I have an idea for how I want to do this. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do it. I want it really, really close to the water. Not so close that it, like, laps up when it comes up, but close enough. I want it to be close enough that I'm, you know, I can step into a low ship. Because I mean, that's kind of the point, right? Hmm. I just realized that floors normally go this way on a dock, don't they? Let's get rid of this and this. And we're going to put them this way. Because that just feels more right. Doesn't it? That seems more dock-like. So this shipyard, and I have not spent very much time with this, by the way. But this shipyard is for building all the stuff related to ships. I've never built a ship. I've just seen this. I really would like that to be inside of a building. We're going to make these docks a lot bigger. But not yet. For right now, it's just going to be like this. And then I need to kind of do more things. I'm out of planks. I'm out of sticks. I'm out of all the things. I need to come back with a lot more things. Yeah, I'm realizing this needs to be a little bit wider. Because I'm going to have a little building right here. Yeah. And I'm realizing very quickly that I'm going to need a crafting table. Because that crafting table right there, this one, this one right here, it's not a crafting table. It looks like a crafting table. It's not a crafting table. It allows you to make ship related things but since I haven't finished building this all oh right I'm missing planks which I can make here hey there we go okay yeah we got lots more stuff in here so one of the first things we're gonna need to build is a hollow box because this is how you keep your ship afloat. I'm also going to make myself a barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I need to be able to store things as I'm working. I'm also going to make... <laughs> make lots of things. A small stockpile for lumber. We're going to stick a barrel right here. And I can put some basic stuff in there. And then 
we'll put... Oh, see, I should have put the stockpile up there. It's okay. There we go. So now I have everything I need to start building a ship, I th think. Give or take. But man, I really kind of want to make this look like a dock. We're going to put in some walls because I want to. That's really weird. Why is that wall like that? I mean, I guess I could probably do that, right? Yeah. Okay. It's going to look a little goofy, but you know what? I'm okay with that. And there went my hammer. All right, let's go fix the hammer. Okay. We'll, we'll get to working on this a little bit more in a bit. Where's the sun? Is it going down or coming up? That's coming up. Okay. So, let's make ourselves a hollow box. And unfortunately, I think most of these sails going to be a little bit of a challenge for me right now. I might be able to make a small sail, but it doesn't matter because what I actually want to do is have something that I can pull back and forth via rope. Later on, we're going to build something bigger that we can actually like sail around the world. Right now, I just want to be able to get over there without swimming, uh, which actually makes me think I don't have access to rope drums. What did I see in here? The controllable drum. Right. Controllable drum seems like a good idea. But first we need it to start with an actual ferry. I'm thinking that that means that I need a rope eye, a rope eye plate which I don't think I have access to because that is part of strings attached. There's also weaving, which is gonna get me better access to ropes because you get more rope per flax with this. Yeah. Okay, so we need to start with weaving, then go to strings attached <laughs> to get the rope by plate. All right, I got some work to do. Okay, well, Put that down right there, and we need to make four string. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then a personal flag. This huge flag, and then it makes me take it down, and then put it back up again as a large banner. Uh, banner workstation. Okay. I can do that, and this is very temporary. I just need it long enough to make my banner. Do, 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 do. Works for me. Close enough. And now we can get rid of it. Okay. So then the other one I needed to do is strings attached to get access to the rope by plate. I need seven basic ropes. I love how they actually have it sitting on top of the, the thing now. Looks cool. Just saying. All right, let's see. Catch block. Of course, I already have one, so I don't really need to make it, but they make me make it anyway, so. And then it wants me to place them. I can do that. This goes here. This goes here. This, of course, goes here. And then this goes over here. See, I know how this works. And then you come over and you interact with this. And then you pick it up. See, I know what I'm doing. Uh oh. Okay. Let's see, what do we need for that controllable rope drum? We need five metal parts, 10 ropes. 
and a round timber. Okay. I have a minor problem then, because I don't have that much flax. I need four, no, I need eight more flax, something like that. How's my flax doing? It is not growing yet. Okay. I've got one more string. It's not going to get me a rope. Okay. So what do you say in the meantime, we go do something else. And I have just the thought. We need steel weapons, which means we need iron. And I have been told that Barhadur is not the place to get iron. I actually want to go north up to Umbril. And luckily, Umbril is actually not that far away. I mean, it's just, it's one region. And then we should drop down into the top of Umbril. And then if we just kind of make our way down, we should find some in this general area. So it's probably going to be a fairly quick trip, but we want to make sure we have everything with us that we possibly need. For example, plenty of food. And I'm going to say another pickaxe. Okay. And I think I want to bring with me a forge or a furnace to the north. Oh, this is going to get old really fast. Uh, enter. Okay, that's better. I'm not really seeing anything out on the ground. Uh, wait, maybe like right there? Ah, much better. Ooh, this is good stuff. I'm okay with this. Okay. I am really glad I brought an extra pickaxe. Otherwise, I'd be stuck in here. There, let's uh, go ahead and get these cooking. Oh. Oh, okay. Ha <laughs> ha! I have bested you in combat. Is there another one coming? Is he coming to protect his buddy? Sure is. Ha! <laughs> I'm actually getting okay at this. Not as bad as before at this. I would like a longer crafting cube, please. I need to craft charcoal. And I need more fuel. Don't roll too far. Thank you. What was that about? I need 27 charcoal. Um, I get three each, which means I need a total of nine logs. That's six. I need three more. Okay. I did the math. Craft nine steel ingots. Of course, the queue is only six, so I get to sit around and wait. Because this is good game design. I love this game. I really do. I even really love this update. And I know a lot of you guys were complaining about it. And I understand. I really do. But, yeah, there's a few things they need to fix. The queues need to be larger. Let's head back. This is gold. This is gold. Why is there gold here? Hang on. 
We are going to stop for some gold. Let me mark... Like, I'm just going to kind of do this so I know where I found the first ingot. Ore. I meant ore. I kind of want to mark the boundaries because... These kind of tell you where there's gold beneath the surface, so... So if I use this to kind of mark the outer boundaries, then I won't forget. Ooh. I gotta be careful. If I deform underneath these, I lose them. Those are valuable. Man, there's a lot on the surface right here. I did not expect to find gold out here. I mean, it, gold can be kind of anywhere, but still. So that was C3 in, in D2 of Umbril. D2, C3. Okay, I can find that again. Plus, with these markings, it's not too hard to find. Let's see. That's the closest, right? Sure, why not? Okay, give me that smithy. Cool. Make a forge is going to require linseed oil, timber, and logs. Well, I've got the linseed oil. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put in a furnace here. I'm constantly running down to my other furnace. I really don't want to do that anymore. There. Under the stairs. Why not? Sweet. Go ahead and place that right here that. Sweet. I need to craft a steel sword and a steel hammer. Don't I have a steel sword? Do I really have to make one? Come on. Alright. I know I'm going to need these. And I've got more of that. I've got that. Okay. Steel sword and... Two steel short for a steel hammer. Though honestly, why don't I just melt down my other steel sword? Yep. Can I not melt down a... Okay, now I can. <laughs> I hadn't unlocked it apparently. See, doesn't the hammer look good sitting across that? I feel like I was just making that, you know? Anyway. Now I have a steel hammer. And I might as well melt down my bronze hammer because I don't need it anymore. I'm actually getting pretty close under civil. How's military looking? Oh, that's right, the defender recruitments and stuff. And I just remembered that we have the whole trading post stuff that we haven't played with. Maybe we'll play with that next episode because we're we got a lot to do this episode oh hey some of these are done why are some of these done and the other ones aren't I planted them all at the same time thought I did maybe I didn't <laughs> okay one way or another I might have enough to make all the ropes necessary Okay, a controllable drum... Okay, ten ropes. Around timber, metal parts. Controllable drum. There we go. Okay. So what do you say we see if we can make a boat? I think I'm going to actually build it up on the dock here. And then if this thing is working properly, I should be able to pull it off into the water. So... So theoretically, this will keep my ship up. Like, th this will make it float. Let's put a timber right here. Um, why can't I resize this timber? What happened? Why can't I resize the timber? Hang on. I thought I saw something about having to research that. See, this is where... It, see how it says plank, plank, nine, eight, seven, etc.? 
I saw that before. Can you not do the same with timbers now? What's going on? Oh, unavailable. Brown palisades, advanced fortifications, military stoneworks, munitions. No. Okay, I guess you can't do that anymore. Or else I have to unlock it. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Don't really need it to be short or anything. So this is going to be how I anchor the boat to this. So we're going to have a drum. Let's see, a one-sided catch block. Somewhere on this. Of course, it's not even. So that's not what I want. Man, I hope this works. Controllable drum, very low power, inverted. Control drum, very low power. Controllable drum, low power. Controllable drum, inverted. Oh my goodness, I don't know what any of this means. I mean, I can guess, but... There we go. In theory, we're supposed to be able to attach to that and be able to control it. Now, right now, I believe if I were to put a chair on there, I would get in and it would just tip me directly over. So we need to either put weights underneath it or kind of wings out to the side to keep it from not tipping. Maybe even like like this like actually attach them way out to the side uh oh that is not at all what I meant to do yeah also not at all what I meant to do <laughs> there's a barbarian underwater do you see that did you did you see that There he is. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. No, I want to... Oh, I've taken control of it now. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those things that you have to remove that way. Okay, we're going to try this again. This is complicated. It's also something new to me. I want to make another one of these floatable blocks. Make me another one of these. One like that... I keep making the same mistake. Okay. That's okay. See, that should kind of, sort of... Oh, now it's stuck on something. Come here. There we go. And if I make another one... Stay. No. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make another one on the other side. So, like, this. And then if I remove this and give it a little bit of a shove, we should end up with a kind of catamaran sort of thing. I mean, except for the part where it's falling backward. So maybe I need two more. Like, I really don't care which way up it is. I just need it to be stable, you know? I need to stay that way up. All right, pick a, pick away either way. Don't care, just stay. Hey, it rhymes. That's not right at all. This is kind of a mess. <laughs> Complete and utter mess. There we go. There. We've got kind of a fairy looking thing. Can I, can I, I can't quite reach that. Ah. Come in a little closer. Just a little bit closer. There we go. All right, so now I'm thinking I'm going to use planks. Here we go. Can I resize these? Interesting. So I can resize planks, but I can't resize 
timbers anymore. That's... Is that new? I don't know. I want it about that level. I'm going to do something like that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. This is this is starting to look like a like a barge or a ferry or something. I'm liking it. Okay. So if I carefully step down into this, I don't push it away. That's good. Okay. So let's go ahead and put in this catch block and the controllable rope drum on top of it. And now we're going to attach... Um, how does that work? Oh, I wonder if you attach the actual rope drum to the top of that. Okay, hang on. I think I might understand how this works. So we put that there. Attach to that. Then attach to this. And then if we put this, if we take control of this, because I think you do that by... And now all of a sudden I have... No, 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 that's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no. You have got to be kidding me. Hang on. We are removing... Hang on, hang on. So, whoa! Hey, remember how there was two different kinds? One that had less power and one that had more power and that whole thing? I think I just figured out why. This is ridiculous. All right, however, I may have just discovered something even better. Let's take that out and grab this. Give me, give me this back, please. Can I pick up damaged blocks? Oh, this is this is great. Hang on, can I attach to this with my magic rope? Yes, I can. Get over here. Get up here so I can actually do something with you. <laughs> no, don't go under there again. Come here. Come here. Come here. There. You go down there. You just became decoration. I think I may have come up with an even better way to control this fairy. And if I have, it's kind of stupid. So we're going to put these on here, and I think... Oh, wow. Really? Oh, I am loving that. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Magic rope for the win. Okay, it might be taking me the, the wrong way, but... Well, guys, I have my fairy. <laughs> oh, that's dumb, and I love it. So, now my only question is, how do I keep it from floating away? I mean, it probably won't as, as long as it's not touched. Right? It's probably fine. Something like that. There we go. Now it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to bump into that. It's going to stop moving. And then when I actually want to leave... No, I have to hold it down. I do that. And when I want to come want to lock it back in place, I do that. There we go. I love it. 
I love it. Uh, what? <laughs> I heard machine gun fire. I don't know about you guys, but I heard machine gun fire. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Actually, I just realized I can walk. It's almost like stairs. Not quite. If I put in one plank here... Like that. It is. It's like stairs. I love it. We'll make a dock on the other side. Maybe I'll even make one in between episodes. And then... We'll have a quick way across, and I might even, like, go up and down the channel a little bit with that. Eventually, I want to go with, like, an actual sail and all of that kind of thing. Oh, and there's an anchor. That's how I can keep it from floating away. That's what anchors are for. Well, we'll play with that next time. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up button, all those other things, and I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. And more flax is ready.